everyone, Mr. Greco here. When discussing the causes of World War II, like many conflicts, the roots are planted years in advance. Before we talk about those root causes, please be mindful that at the end of this video, you will be asked to complete the visible thinking routine headlines, where you create newspaper or social media post headlines that both captures the main idea of the events we'll discuss and doing so in a dramatic way that will catch readers' attention. So in practicing, think about the current events of the coronavirus. If I were to read or watch the news, I might come up with a headline that said something to the effect of, coronavirus causes panic for the US economy, or Italy on lockdown, a nation on the edge. Both of those explain what is going on while also creating intrigue about the topic. So that's what you're gonna try to do with your headlines about the causes of World War II. I'd like you to come up with at least five and then you'll submit those to Canvas. So as I mentioned before, the first major cause of World War II actually came decades before with the end of the First World War. When that war ended, the agreement that officially ended it was known as the Treaty of Versailles. While the treaty ended the war, it had provisions that were, depending on which country you were from, fairly or unfairly affected Germany the most. Germany was forced to surrender their overseas colonies and largely disband their military. While these measures wounded national pride, they also substantially limited Germany's access to natural resources that they had grown accustomed to having. The worst aspects of the Versailles Treaty were that Germany had to pay enormous reparations to France and Britain while accepting full responsibility for the war. Again, this double-edged sword of crippling the German economy whilst crushing the German spirit would lead to substantial economic depression, hyperinflation, and a much wounded national character. The negative economic and social conditions caused in Germany by the Versailles Treaty would lead to the rise of a political party and leader that has become synonymous with evil, terror, and destruction. The Nazi Party, led by Adolf Hitler. Hitler and the Nazis loathed the Versailles Treaty and what it did to Germany. With the Nazis' rise in popularity, so too did Hitler's star rise. Elected to Chancellor in 1932, Hitler began to repair Germany's economy, military, and national pride, all the while specifically scapegoating and attacking Germany's Jewish population, which we will get to in future lessons. As Germany began to rebuild itself, they sought to expand. Hitler was chiefly concerned with bringing German-speaking people under the German flag and he was able to annex a willing Austria into the fold. Next, Hitler coveted the Sudetenland, a region of Western Czechoslovakia filled with native speaking Germans. While Czechoslovakia was under the protection of France and Britain, these nations along with Hitler's ally, Benito Mussolini, met in Munich to make a deal. What would become known as the Munich Pact saw Hitler being given the Sudetenland in exchange for his vow to not expand his territory. The French and British here employed the policy of appeasement, giving into the demands of an aggressor to prevent further conflict. Appeasement itself would lead to war as Hitler ignored the agreement and went on to not only annex the rest of Czechoslovakia, but went on to invade Poland through the Danzig Corridor on September 1st, 1939. With his invasion of Poland, the Allied forces of France and Britain would declare war on Germany, beginning the Second World War. That's what you're gonna to try to do with your headlines about the causes of World War II. I'd like you to come up with at least five, and then you'll submit those to Canvas.